the definition of um, a linear equation in one variable. So linear equation in one variable. That's what we want to define right now. Okay. So in this case, if we are dealing with the real number, so we, we, we can just, instead of writing this, we can just write the whole 1.15 uh, million, 150 million. We can just write it here. So now here's the definition. Pay attention. I'm just going to say it and then you can write it down. So I'm defining this. So I would say a linear equation in one variable is an equation that can be written in the form of, okay? So a linear equation in one variable is an equation that can be written in form of ax plus b plus c. So where, where a, b, and c are real numbers, are what? Real numbers. And the value of a is not equal to zero. A is not equal to zero. Okay? So we write this down in our notebook? Yes. Okay. Always, always, always. The reason is when I say review your notes, those are the kind of things you have to read. And then you link it with your textbook. And then that helps you to understand it and remember it more, just in case you have an exam. Even if, you're, even if I give you, let's say, an open book exam, which is the kind of thing you, you had last time, you will be able to flip in through your notes and see just to make sure the, the, what the definition means, all right? So, and this equation right here, this one is just the same thing with, it's just the same thing with this one. So it is a linear equation. Mr. Okay, we well, forgot to write C. And C, yes, uh, please correct. Yes, I, I, I skipped it for, and C are real numbers. All right, so that's the definition of that. Now, how about the solution of this? How about the solution? How about the solution of a uh, linear equation? So now let's write uh, another example so that we just use small numbers this time around. Let's write another example. Uh, let me write um, 3x plus 0 equal to 11. Is that a linear equation? Yes or no? No. Why not? Wait. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, it is a linear equation because you can organize it in this form. You can organize it either, you see, A is 3, X is this, C is this, B is this, all right? So even if you remove, even if you transfer 11 to the left side, you are going to have, you are going to have 3X minus 11 equal to Y, which is still the equation of a linear function. So now here's our challenge now. Our challenge is now we have an equation of one variable. So we need to determine the value of X. So what is the value of X? 30 seconds, considering this equation. So what's the value of X or solve for X? You can say solve for X. So what's the solution, ladies and gentlemen? Wait, B is a zero, right? Yes. Uh, I got a repeating decimal. Yeah, so what's the number? So I just round? Uh, you can round to two places of decimal. That's fine. Or three. It doesn't really matter. I just want to see something. 3.67. Did any, any other person got the same number or a different number? Can I round it to 3.7? Okay. That's uh, 3.7. That's uh, rounding to one place of decimal. Okay. So explain how you got the 3.7. Uh, first name and then explain, please. Um, minus zero for both sides. Okay, I'm going to write exactly what you say. So, um, you have three x plus zero equal to eleven, and then he she said zero minus zero equal to eleven minus zero. Is that what you said? Um, yeah. And okay, three go ahead. equals eleven. Three x is equal to eleven, and then what? And divide by three for both sides. Divide both sides by three. All right, so that gives us three X over three equal to 11 over three. And that gives us what? 11 divided by three? 3.7. All right. Um, actually, is it the same thing that you did? Yeah, I just rounded. 
Okay. So it's the same thing. So you know the number of places of decimal is what uh, it doesn't really matter. You can do five places of decimal or even six or five. So it is the process that counts. So this is equal to 3.67 or 3.7 or 3.6667. It doesn't really matter. All right. Any questions so far? Because we are, the next example is going to involve a fraction. So now, if we want to check our solution, what do we do? If we want to check if we are correct or wrong, what do we do? Plug in the value, right? Plug in the value back to where? The original equation. OK, good. So check. OK, so plug in 3.67 into 3x plus zero equal to 11. So if you plug in that number, uh, then if the left side gives you the same value as the right side, then you are correct. So let's try it. Three bracket, 3.67 plus zero, is it equal to 11? Is it equal to 11? Approximately, yes. Okay, so this is correct. So we just did that. 